What is going on guys? It's Shredded Brother from Another Mother and you know what time it is. It is arm day. So I've actually been slacking majorly the last couple days. I got sick and uh, had like a little cold so it didn't work out and I'm ready to crush arms. So I wrote out the craziest bicep and tricep workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do superset arm training. So we're gonna do bicep tricep supersets. We're also gonna incorporate the balloon method. And if you guys are new to the channel, that is anabolic drop sets in T45. So Kitty Games is gonna join me on this insane arm workout. And it's about an hour workout. It's probably the most intense arm workout I've ever done in my life. And uh, let's get right into it. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs> Starting off the workout with an amazing superset, we got the seated straight bar curl for the first portion of the superset. Now, very important on this exercise, we want to um, you know push our chest out, our shoulders back, even try to like kind of retract your scapula. And very important, I want you guys to try to keep your elbows in close to your body. You're gonna grip it slightly wider than shoulder width apart and go down slow and controlled to hit the muscle damage phase of hypertrophy. So you're gonna go a total count of about three seconds on the way down. You're gonna briefly rest it for a split like quarter second when it's just resting on your thighs and then come back up for that concentric explosive lift. Now the superset is the incline dumbbell skull crush. Now once again, you wanna focus on going three seconds on the eccentric portion of the lift to hit that muscle damage phase and go relatively heavy. You should be at or near failure in the eight to 10 repetition range on both of these exercises. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs> Second exercise is a mass building bicep exercise. We're gonna be doing anabolic drop sets with the straight bar. So what we're gonna do here is hands uh, slightly inside shoulder width apart and we're gonna be doing an anabolic drop set, which means eight to 10 reps until failure. And then we're going to drop the weight by about 30% and we're gonna do another eight to 10 reps until failure with no rest. So I went um, 80 pounds and then I dropped it, I think to 60 pounds. Um, at this point, my biceps are already pretty fatigued. Now, if you guys don't have a bicep blaster, I recommend kind of like leaning forward to try to eliminate as much anterior deltoid as possible. If you do have a bicep blaster, definitely try this anabolic drop set. It is brutal. Try to focus on going slow and controlled on the way down. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. Third exercise is an incredible superset. We're starting off with the static hold hammer curls. So this is gonna work the brachialis as well as obviously the bicep. Now. You're gonna be doing five reps on the right side, five reps on the left side, five right, five left, and then you're gonna be holding that static hold position, um, which is gonna really activate your fatigued biceps throughout the reps. So a uh, pretty self-explanatory exercise, just do the static hold, rep five left and five right. And then the superset is one of my favorite exercises I've got from uh, Julian Smith, uh, one of the uh, best Instagram fitness influencers that I've found. He has some incredibly uh, outside the box exercises. I really like the eccentric overload floor crushers because um, going down for a full count of three seconds is going to utilize the muscle damage phase of hypertrophy. And I just feel a crazy pump when I go heavy on this. So uh, go down about three seconds on the way down, explode back up, activate those triceps, and let's move on to exercise four. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs> into the fourth superset here. So eccentric overload preacher curls. Now I really like the preacher curl machine. Once again, it helps me eliminate my anterior deltoids from the movement. I have a tough time um, getting them like just away from any type of curling movement. I have really long arms. So I really like this exercise. I feel a crazy pump. Now you wanna go down once again for a full count of three seconds, activate that muscle damage phase of hypertrophy. So slow negatives, explosive positives. 
And then the superset is you're going to have dumbbells set up and you're just going to literally flip around and you're going to go into a seated dumbbell tricep kickback. Now, once again, this is going to hit the mechanical overload phase. You want to try to go fairly heavy on this. Try to stabilize your shoulder throughout the movements. Squeeze those triceps. Activate that horseshoe. And this is a phenomenal superset. I want you guys to go three total sets, 8 to 10 rep range, short rest time, and let's move on. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights. <laughs> Fifth exercise, triceps mass builder. We're gonna be doing an anabolic drop set with the dumbbell overhead triceps. Now this is one of my favorite mass building tricep exercises. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not flaring your elbows and your shoulder out too much. So try to kind of keep your elbows in. Um, it shouldn't be, uh, if this exercise irritates your shoulder, which it might if you have any type of shoulder impingement, Definitely stay away from it, but I don't have any shoulder impingements currently, so it's an exercise that I really enjoy for developing mass in the triceps. So anabolic drop set means um, 8 to 10 reps until failure, dropping the weight by about 30%, another 8 to 10 reps until failure, and let's move on to uh, exercise 6. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights. <laughs> Exercise six, we are getting into the balloon method here, the T45 method. So remember the balloon method is anabolic drop sets and T45 in the same workout. Now what going 45 seconds under tension does for hypertrophy is metabolic stress, one of the three core pillars of muscle growth. Now I noticed well, when my body fat's a little higher like it is now, um, I have a tough time really developing and getting my triceps to pop. So this is a muscle group that I'm really focusing on. So the rope triceps, you want to go light, you want to go a full 45 seconds under tension, only resting 45 seconds between sets, three total sets, hit that metabolic stress, and let's move on to the final exercise. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights. <laughs> Last but not least, we're going to do a little T45 with the rope biceps. So try to make this workout really efficient and short so you don't have to like go uh, from like machine to machine in your gym. This one, you just on the same, uh, same setup as the rope triceps. You just lower it all the way down to the bottom. Now focus on really activating your biceps by pulling the rope apart at the apex of the movement. So try to pull that rope apart, go slow and controlled on the way down, and once again, a full 45 seconds, time under tension, hit that T45 method. So important to really activate the metabolic stress phase of muscle growth that you go a full 45 seconds under tension. So much uh, deserved post-workout poke bowl. So I'm doing a seven day little mini cut because I've kind of been binging the last couple weeks. So I did half romaine, half white rice, and then it's like a bunch of salmon, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of spicy pokey sauce, some seaweed salad. So this is my go-to meal. Gonna be my highest caloric meal of the day. But uh, if you guys want more arm training workouts, definitely check out the description below. I'm going to include all my arm workouts that I did. I did a lot of arm workouts around the holidays, and I also have a playlist right on the homepage of my channel that goes through all my different bicep and tricep workouts. And most importantly, I got the Shredded Baller Reverse Series coming up on the channel. I'm trying to get some really big names in the series. I actually just spoke to uh, uh, the Glendale Gold's Gym here. I'm trying to get him on the, uh, the series. So I'm trying to compete with some other really fun fitness influencers and uh, fitness YouTubers in the Shredded Baller First Series. I cannot wait to share that content with you. I got like NBA Gym, NBA Street Style, kind of like editing and graphics coming your way and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to post a lot more content on Instagram and I will see you guys on the next video.